Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to compile and run Lex and Yak programs in Ubuntu environment. If you want to compile and uh, run Lex and Yak programs in uh, Ubuntu environment, we need some uh, softwares to be installed. So the very first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, connect to in internet. That's the first thing. And then we need to update our system with the help of uh, SUDO apt minus get update with the help of this particular command uh, first we need to update our uh, system uh, it will ask you to enter the admin password we need to enter it it will take a few minutes based on the internet connection what you have uh, once uh, everything is done we need to install a few what you can say that the softwares the first software uh, to be installed is sudo apt minus get install Lex. This is the software we need to install. Uh, I will press enter button here because I have already installed it. It will say that uh, the flex is already installed. So there is no need to install it. So once you run this particular command, you will be able to get that particular the flex installed in your machine. The next one to be installed is uh, the same thing sudo apt get install byacc that is uh, b yak. This is the next uh, software to be installed. Again, I have already installed it. So that's the reason I'm getting a message like uh, b yak is already the newest version we installed in this case. So I will do one thing. I will uh, clear it. Uh, the next one is uh, to be installed is uh, the bison b i s o n. Again, I have already installed it. It says that uh, it is installed. I think uh, it is asking me to install the one more version. So I will press yes here and then uh, I will wait for a few seconds or minutes so that it will get installed. Once it is installed, uh, we will go with uh, the next one. Now it is installed successfully. Again, I will press uh, clear here. Now uh, there is a next one to be installed is Bison++. plus plus. So I will try to install this also. Again, it is asking me to install this. So I will do one thing. I will try to install it. Mm, once it is done, I will go with the final one. There is something called as uh, BAC minus J. That is the final one to be installed in this case. So wait for a few seconds. It depends on uh, two things. One is your machine uh, speed and the second one is uh, uh, the internet speed. These are the two things matters while installing uh, this particular uh, surface BAC minus J in this case. Uh, it is already installed to the newest version. So there is no need to install it over here. So what we did here is uh, there are uh, four things we have installed. One is uh, flex. Second one is BAC. Third one is Bison. Fourth one is Bison++ plus plus, and the fifth one is by BAC minus J. So these are the different softwares we need to install. Now once you install all this particular thing, uh, now we will try to understand how to compile and uh, run Lex program and then Lex and Yak program. So if you want to compile the Lex program, we need to use a command called as Lex. In this case, I have a program name that is demo1.l. So demo. 1.l in this case i will compile it once i compile this particular thing i will get a c file that is called as yy.lex.yy.c here so i need to compile that lex.yy.c with the help of gcc here lex.yy.c once i execute this particular command i will get an executable file that is called as a.out if you want to execute that a.out we need to use dot slash a dot out in this case now it is asking me to enter an arithmetic expression uh, this is a standard program i have considered we will discuss how to write a program uh, and all at the later stage so i will enter one uh, arithmetic expression that is uh, 2 plus 3 when i enter this 2 plus 3 it says that it's a valid expression and so on so we are getting an output over here so don't worry about this particular output and all we will discuss these things at the later stage but this is how actually we need to execute a Lex program. First, we need to compile our Lex program. It will create a C file that is called as lex.yy.c. We need to compile this C file with the help of GCC. It will create an output file called as a.out and then we need to execute it. So this is a simple process we need to follow while executing Lex program. 
now uh, what we do here is we will try to understand how to compile and run yak programs the very first thing is again uh, i am going to use uh, uh, the lex to compile the lex program in this case uh, my program name is uh, demo2.l uh, in this case uh, this will create again lex.yva.c this is the lex part of uh, the yak program in this case next i need to use yak followed by minus d option and then uh, demo 2.y so this will create two files one is called as y.tab.h second one is y.tab.c so i have compiled my lex program i have compiled my yak program now i need to compile the respective c files that is uh, gcc lex.yy.c and then y.tab.c in this case once i compile these two things I will be able to get an output file called as a dot out. I can execute that particular a dot out with the help of dot slash a dot out in this case. Now, once I execute this particular thing, again it is asking me to enter the arithmetic expression. I will enter two plus three again here. Now you will get the result as five and then the valid expression. So don't worry again with respect to the output over here. We are just trying to understand how to execute a yak program in this case. So whenever you write a YAC program, you must be having an associated Lex program which will divide your input into tokens. So first compile your Lex program, then compile your YAC program. They will generate two, two C files. One is lex.yy.c, y.tab.c. Compile them with the help of GCC. Finally execute the output file in this case. So this is the very simple process we need to follow to install the necessary softwares in Ubuntu environment and then uh, compile and run the Lex and Act programs over here. I hope uh, the concept is quite clear. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.